Lizzie's a sick kitty. Um, you can tell sick cats. That obviously, she's laying on her side. She's breathing, which is a good thing. But uh, her, she's just hardly responsive. She's got a real gunky uh, eye. She's got that's usually because they have a bacterial infection in the blood, and you can tell how beet red her her membranes are. That's because they're just injected. She's very, very dehydrated. How you can tell an animal's dehydrated is you, you, you can uh, pinch the skin, and if it stays up like that, that means the animal's over 10% dehydrated. Look at that. It just stays like that. How did this happen? Well, Lizzie was pretty good a couple days ago, and uh, then all of a sudden, she got very sick. She's got a fever of 105. She was seizuring when we took the blood. And, uh, in her, in Lizzie's case, the, it was very hard to get the blood because she was so dehydrated and the veins shrink. So it was hard to put the catheter in too because the veins get so small. So what we do for a kitty like this that's dehydrated and, and you can tell just very non-responsive is we um, draw blood to make sh to see if the kidneys are infected, the liver is infected, what her white blood cell count is. We put a catheter in so that she can get um, IV fluids. We put some B vitamins in because cats a lot of times need B vitamins. Uh, it really helps their body work better. Um, we give her antibiotics in the in the catheter. I gave her IV antibiotics and. Um, I'll show you what the blood work, work looks like. Here I am looking at Lizzie's blood work, and if you look at blood work, it says low, normal, and high. And high usually means it can't, sometimes low can be bad, and, some, and most times high can be bad. And if something's high, then it goes over in this column and turns red. But right away, and it, they also print it red here. You see, we might not catch it otherwise, because veterinarians, you know. No, I'm just kidding. We, and you think that's, you think, you think you'd catch that? I mean, I think anybody could catch that. So we can see right now that her, her, her uh, blood sugar's high, her kidney enzymes are high because she was so dehydrated, um, her, and her liver enzymes were high here too, and her intestinal enzymes are high. So the, the bug that, that hit her, the virus or bacteria that infected her, is actually cause generalized inflammation in many of her organs. Now that's kind of good because if there was the kidney was really bad, the kidney enzymes were really bad, then there's less chance she could get over it. But because there was a lot of her organs were affected, it, it actually means that maybe this thing that this infection can be controlled with antibiotics. So we'll see how she looks tomorrow. You can even see the lip, the lip even sticks up wherever I put it because she's so dehydrated. So in this kind of dehydrated cat, if you press on the mucous membranes, that's called capillary refill. So get right up on there, we'll show you. So I press and it comes back. Press 1001, 1002. So it does come back. So you, you know that the, she does have enough blood pressure to make the blood re-enter after you push the blood out of the gums then it re-enters into the gums within a couple seconds so Lizzie's got um, a terrible terrible um, injected mucous membranes of the eye with a bacterial infection or vir viral infection of the eye terribly dehydrated um, and actually was having a seizure and her body was just twitching and she was throwing her head back and meowing because she was so, so sick. So let's see how Lizzie is now. We started the IV fluids about an hour ago and, uh, and we gave her a shot of cortisone and we gave her a couple different antibiotics. We gave her Batro, which is an aerofloxacin, and we also gave her uh, ampicillin, IV. So you can see right away that Lizzie is now, um, she's, instead of being down on her side, she's up, she's up and looking at us, look better. 
Her her membranes are pink or less injected. See see what why does why does cause this rapid rapid um, decline in her health. She's got a, a really terrible fever, and that usually means a bacterial or viral infection. And this eye, I think, is a result of a bacterial infection. So we'll look at her mouth. Her gums are nice, a lot pinker, and she's fighting me now. Uh, which is better and nice pink gums so she says oh god quit it see and that's a good sign you want him to be you want him to be a little mad because yeah. now that means instead of actually being close to dying like she was before she's starting to feel better well here's lizzie uh about eight hours after we started the iv fluids you can hear her kind of growling she's and that's a great sign. We like him to be a little mad, like I was saying before. I know, sweetie. So you can see her, 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 her eye, her color in her, her eye that was so red before has gotten better. She's looking around. She's sitting up. I know, and I'm so sorry. Her, let's see how her skin's doing. It's going back to normal more, more quickly. So look, I'm pinching it like it was before. And see it go right back down. It was just standing up before. So we've uh, given her um, given her four or five hundred cc's. So this is when she well four hundred cc's when she came in. Here's one one hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred. We've given her four hundred cc's, and we have vitamin B complex in the mix, along with a little potassium chloride and. Uh, the rate on the, this is an automatic, uh, this is an IV pump and it feeds in 45 um, cc's per hour and what, why we're doing that, we're giving her a lot more than she really needs because we're flushing out her liver and kidneys because they were um, a little bit inflamed and so we're trying to make sure she gets all the uh, fluid she can. So we're, so she has a good chance to make it, she tested negative for leukemia and AIDS and we're just hoping it was a really bad virus or bacterial infection and then her body can get back to normal. Nighty night, Lizzie. This is, this is Lizzie. Um, this is about 36 hours after we started treating her. And remember she was laying on her side and I didn't think she was going to make it. But um, now she's... Uh, She's mad, <laughs> so but but you can tell she's with it. She's looking around, and uh, she had really bad diarrhea this morning, and I wish I had shown you that. But um, so that diarrhea means that she has a bug inside, like a, a, a intestinal infection, stomach infection, that, that was really knocking her out. But the most rewarding things that a veterinarian can do is take an animal like Lizzie that's feeling so sick and make her better. Lizzie was really sick for three or four days after the last video. I was off for a couple days so I wasn't able to see her actually go home. She didn't eat too much and she had a little diarrhea but she finally was able to be taken off fluids and went home and that's the greatest feeling in the world. And over the blood work a little bit better. On the top you see the um, there's the white blood cells and red blood cells. Well the very top that the the first three that are in the high range show the hematocrit or the pack cell volume of the blood is very high and that shows a dehydration. Amazingly enough the white blood cells were pretty much in the normal range. That's because they were probably overwhelmed by infection. And in that case sometimes the white blood cells can be low or even normal. So we have to go by clinical signs and not by the lab work. We don't, the lab work is only a help, but sometimes it isn't as diagnostic as we want. We definitely always check sick cats for the presence of feline leukemia or the AIDS virus. And that would make recovery not so, so sure and, and probably not, um, not allow recovery. So we want to make sure we're not treating the cat when there's no hope for recovery. Mostly we check for the AIDS and leukemia, and then sometimes we'll check for the FIP virus, and kidney failure is so common in cats. So we want to make sure that 
They, our cats are not suffering from something that's irreversible. Well, anyway, have a great day. And um, if you get a chance, check Dog Dish Diet. I know I have a uh, slow cooking home cook food uh, book, ebook, to show you how to slow cook for your dogs and cats. 